Alright guys, so what we're going to do here today is we're going to check this new FPS fix to see if it uh, actually increases FPS. So I'm going to bog down my system. I am running a potato. I'm running an i7-2600K I7 I7 2600K with a GTX 970. Um, so we're going to turn everything on Ultra, which the only thing I normally don't run is Shadows, Effects, and Foliage. foliage. So I'm going to put everything on medium, and I'm going to put effects on medium. I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to go right here in the game, and we're going to see what my FPS is. Then we're going to do the supposed new FPS fix and see if there's a difference. So we're going to go in game right now, and as soon as the game loads. Uh, right now, it's I have it on fast sync. Uh, it's sitting right at 92 frames a second. We're going to see what we get after. <laughs> I do not have my GPU overclocked. It is stuck. <coughs> I do have the uh, 2600K running at 4 gigahertz, and I do have 1866 RAM in. And I only have 16 gigs. But as soon as this loads, we're going to see what our lobby frame rate is, and then we're going to back out all the way. We're going to see what it is compared to what happens when I change the setting that everybody's ranting and raving about on Reddit and everywhere else you can see any of the uh, possible fixes. Alright, so let's hit equals. We're just going to run out here. See how far we can get it to dip down. All right, so right now, because it's populated, we're at roughly 56 to 70. It does change. The lowest dip I've seen is uh, 47. Get in game, see what it is in the plane too, real quick. So this may be a couple uh, minute video, just for the simple fact I'm trying to see if this actually does anything. What up? I'm done. Forty-seven's been the lowest dip I've got so far, but the plane usually has the worst uh, FPS on my system. So we'll see where we're at in the plane. Got eighteen seconds. May actually play a short game. Just dive into like the uh, school or somewhere and try to melee kill people just because we want to die so we can shut down the system and see what's going on. Alright, now we're at 42 FPS. Um, I have a really populated area. Gun range. I look like that's going to be a decent amount of people. Right now I'm at 80 and 72. Staying around 80 frames a second. Alright, we're just going to drop down here. See what happens. 39. 39 has been the lowest dip so far. Alright, 
to 39. And we get a kill. So, works out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of game. We're going to and we're going to change the setting that everybody's ranting and raving about. We're going to see if that makes a difference. So we're going to close game. Everybody's saying type stuff down in the settings, but I'm just going to go out at the old school way. I'm going to hit the uh, file explorer down on the bottom. Everything I have is on E, so I'm going to go E, program files, Steam, <laughs> Steam apps, common, PUBG, TSI game is the one we want to do. We want to go to properties. And I am not seeing the setting, so let's see. Let's go in binaries, Win64. There we go. That's the one we want right there. Properties. And we want compatibility. Now, what they're saying is hit override DPI scaling and apply. And OK. So we have done that. Everything is good. So now I'm going to go back over to my other screen. I'm going to boot back up Player Unknowns. And once it boots up, we're going to see what the frame rate is now compared to what it was previously. Still looks to be hovering about 90. Now, as I said, the last thing we had, we had it. So I'm going to bump up the settings because people were saying they could bump all the settings up to high and it would actually uh, stay equal. So we got everything on high or above. We're going to go in a North American server. Let's see what happens. If I can get matched into a game, anyway. <coughs> um, yeah, so far I haven't seen anything below 85. There's an 83. 79, 80. I don't know if you guys can actually see it. They're going to drop down to 63, but I'm still above 60 frames a second. Not dipped. Well, there it went to 58. That's been the lowest one so far. But it does look like it's going to stay primarily above 60 frames a second. Even with everything turned up. 50, 45, 37, which is, we saw that before, but we also had the settings a lot lower, we had everything on, uh, actually significantly lower than what it is now. So wait, we'll get in game, we'll see what it does. Dropping down the high 30s, mid 40s. What we're going to do real quick is we're going to change the settings back the way we had them. And go back to low on shadows, low on effects. And foliage, we didn't even have a turn on, so we can go and apply. Jump 
out of school because we know there'll be action there. Right now we're. All right, everybody. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 jump. What the fuck already? Doesn't look like it's uh, much better to be honest with you. I'm not seeing too much of a significant improvement. So I'm thinking, uh, it's bullshit. <laughs> Just saying. We will try it again. We got ultra, ultra low, ultra low, very low. Ultra. Now, what I normally run is everything on very low, except for uh, effects and what I have set now. So I'm going to change it here to get back to that, my normal settings. I know my normal settings, I'm usually about 60 to 75 in-game. So let's go see what we can do here. <laughs> but to be completely honest with you, I'm not really seeing any difference, like notable difference. So I'm thinking that all of the... Uh, People saying they're gaining like 20 frames a second and all that stuff, it's not really that viable. But we'll find out here. Oh, hey girl, hey girl. Hey girl, hey girl. Hey man, hey man. Hey girl. Hey girl, hey man. It actually seems like it ran better before I switched the settings. So I don't know exactly uh, what to say on that one. I have the setting ready to change back on my other screen right now. It's not uh Okay, system enhanced did make a slight improvement. Because I'm actually over a hundred frames a second right now. I'm gonna die probably because oh never mind I live I'm probably still gonna die because I don't have a gun but if you put it on system enhanced I'm seeing like a 30 frame per second increase because I'm running 95 right now and this is a populated area with a 
lot of stuff around, so. If you're gonna do it, do system enhanced. Seems to actually make a difference. So system enhanced does make a difference. So briefly I'm going to show you what I mean by system enhanced. If you're going to do it, I would recommend doing that because that actually does make a difference whereas the other two do not. Back out of game here. Yeah, loading menu, I'm usually at like uh, 70s, 80s, and now I'm at 98. And that's pretty damn good for me anyway. So I'm going to close out the game, show you exactly what I mean. Bring this screen back over here as soon as this closes out. Alright, so go local disk, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, PUBG, TSI, binaries, Win64, and then select TSI game. What you're going to do is right click on it, go to properties. Go to compatibility. Um, override high DPA scaling behavior performed by, and I put system enhanced. I tried the other two and they didn't really make a difference, but system enhanced tends to uh, add about 20 to 30 frames per second. So, I mean, it actually is viable, at least in my opinion. Um, so, I actually would recommend this. Uh, I was very uh, skeptical of where whether it would work because a lot of the stuff that people post to where it will actually help you in game, it actually ends up hurting you. So uh, this I will try out. I'll keep trying out, and if I tend to actually uh, keep using it, I'll retweet it or repost it in a couple of days and let you guys know how it's going. Thank you.